more than welcome to come in any uh, place. There's a bridge, engine control room, somewhere you want to visit. Come there, ask questions, take pictures. All right, don't forget to walk. <laughs> um, my name is Nick Cobbing. My official position on the Esperanza is the photographer on board. The first time I came here I knew nothing. It took me a long time to realize how it worked. And I was getting myself a, a, an education just by being alongside them. I learned a lot from watching them work. Uh, I'm Christian from Italy. I'm from Hungary. I'm a helicopter pilot. <laughs> <laughs> I always hope it's the same. I'm a part-time singer, but the <laughs> Many of these people, some of these people have never been here before either. It's kind of just really interesting how somebody's so far away. Theory, it, you know, you can draw it in pictures, you could put it in a little manual and you could instruct sailors how to do it. But it's different every time, right? Like when you get out there, it's not like it says in the books, right? It's not like it says in the manual. I think it's an unusual operation. I think most cruise ships would be like, no, oh, this is too, too complicated. He phoned me from the Antarctic and he said that they were looking for a captain and it uh, was after some contact I, I, I got involved. I'm not quite sure that we are as far ahead in relation to the Arctic as we were in relation to the Antarctic 25 years ago. Up here there are a number of states around the, the Arctic Ocean so it leaves uh, an area in the Arctic Ocean itself, which, which is not claimed. So it opens the door to uh, oil exploration and to uh, industrial fishing, unless there are politicians with a vision who say, no, we have to stop here. The strategy has not changed so much. What we quite often say is that we try to be the, the, the catalyst for change. Yeah. Because we're not going to change it. We're going to change it by, by getting many people to agree with us and put pressure on politicians. Sometimes you have to put pressure on and make the public at large aware of the fact that change needs to happen. The Esperanza, she's an old uh, Russian Navy firefighting at, uh, vessel, so she's quite powerful. Icebreaker, so she, we can go up in the ice and document uh, uh, the stuff that's going on in the Arctic, so she's very useful for her work there. Es un barco diferente y tiene múltiples personalidades. That we have a dozen different nationalities, and therefore, if it was registered as a commercial vessel, we'd have a great trouble in maintaining such a multinational crew, which is really what we want. We're not solely Dutch, we're not solely British, we're not American. We, we have all uh, nationalities involved. It's like running away with the circus. <laughs> Mucha gente viene con muy poca experiencia en barco y aquí se aprende mucho. We try to explain a little bit about the CPR. Come here, come here to see. Take up his hands. Work, work. I came from Brazil. And in the beginning, my parents didn't understand so good this idea of voluntary life. I, I was thinking to grow. I, I, when I, I apply to build, to get on board, it's my, my dream is grow up. I, I, I want to grow up in Greenpeace. 
Bueno, la vida a bordo comienza a las, a las siete y media, es, es el horario que se, que se llama a todos. Al mediodía es el almuerzo y luego la cena a las seis de la tarde. Hay un gran respeto a las culturas de cada uno, o sea, el que es vegetariano hay que respetar su dieta, el que es vegano también y el que come algo de carne también. I'm Ronnie Ferrer from the Philippines and I've been working for Greenpeace so almost 14 years now. I like uh, to help for, to protect our environment and maybe in this manner cooking and being an activist at the same time will be a good help for for the organization. So we are going down to the stores. Condiments, noodles, rice, everything is here. The fridge. This is the meat room. Meat room, fish, everything frozen is here. And here's the vegetable. This plus nine, plus eight. Temperature. It's not too much. We need a lot of protein. That's very important when they're out there, especially when it's cold. Some nuts, everything with protein. That's very important. But the most important thing is the real food, like the bread, the nuts, and chocolate can help also during the action. Esperanza, just off the Transocean Spitsberg in a Statoil deep water drilling rig. They have a blowout contingency plan, but even with the safest protocols in the world, they cannot assure that there will not be a catastrophic blowout. However safe they think they can make it, it's not risk-free and uh, we have alternatives. They know that there is a risk of a catastrophic disaster from oil. They know this, but they're willing to roll the dice. We, we all uh, have to do a, a training how to deal with uh, violence and how to react in a, a non-violent way because that's one of the fundamentals of Greenpeace is that we are non-violent. Uh, one of our safeties is uh, always to have photographers and uh, videographers uh, with us because everybody realizes that it will be on, on video. We discovered they didn't want to have us witnessing. We figured that hmm, maybe we should try to dedicate a ship full time. I think the toughest moment for me with Greenpeace is when we are arrested several times in a different country. Ten years ago, the office asked us, are you willing to be arrested while you're on board the ship? And I said, I'm willing, I'm all, it's, it's okay for me. Yeah, and that's, that's, that's quite hard. The beginning when you hear this 10 to 15 years, you go like, oh, that's, uh, that's too, too much to comprehend. Uh, so I, I did not deal with that. So I thought, okay, let's, let's wait and, uh, and see. Overall, this experience is, uh, has made so many people aware of what's, uh, what's happening. And we could not have achieved that any other way, I, uh, I think. So it's just, I think, a small price to, uh, to pay for what we achieved. People um, putting their liberty online, that's a big ask of these people. And I, and I think that message goes out to the world. If these people were willing to do that, and were willing to go through that, that brought other people into the story, that brought other people in who were watching them, who were concerned about their welfare and interested in 
why they would do this. Why would they go through that? Just a legal matter, sir. I think this is also a matter for your conscience. Esperanza means hope. That is uh, the hope that we bring with us, that we can improve both uh, the environment and also promote peace. gift of consciousness and we're unable to use the consciousness to think ahead and think about our children and what about our children's children and what about future generations perhaps we've misused the gift of consciousness 